All right, everybody, let's talk about what's good. Uh -huh. Amy Pathraff yes. is about to join us and break it down for us. So mental health is more important now than ever. As many people are dealing with unemployment and isolation due to the COVID-19 pandemic, exercise, no doubt, helps improve our mental health. And many of us have been doing that from home, right? Trying. No, trying. Yeah. <laughs> trying. Yep. Our Amy Pathrath joins us this morning to tell us about one local yoga instructor who lost his source of income due to stay-at-home orders, but has made the pivot all while keeping such a positive attitude. And who better than our Miss Positive Sunshine <laughs> to bring us this healthy there story? There she is. <laughs> Miss. On this Friday morning. Good morning. Good morning, you beautiful people. We well, love you. <laughs> we lo I love you. Well, Steve Tartar has credited yoga for helping keep his positive attitude and battle depression in the past. And until recently, it was one of the ways he made money. But of course, like many Angelinos, he's had to pivot. He's found an exhilarating new way to not only get around town, but make a few bucks in the process. Yogis come in all shapes and sizes. Some even ride scooters and listen to heavy metal. Steve Tarter discovered yoga as a tool to help manage his depression. A lot of guys in their late 20s, early 30s, get depression, they have no idea what it is. So I was recommended to go to a yoga class and I loved it, it did a lot for me. He wanted to share the love. So he started Runyon Canyon Yoga in 1999. With the help of a few other teachers, the free classes have been going strong seven days a week for over 20 years. I had this feeling that a lot of people that needed a yoga practice, that needed a yoga class, couldn't really afford it. Yoga classes then and now are like 20 bucks a piece. And if you wanna go a couple times a week, it can be really expensive. He teaches yoga to give back, but he does make a little money off the classes through donations. His main focus is private personal training. Both of his income streams dried up during the pandemic. Steve found a new way to pay the bills, food delivery, which he documents via his YouTube channel. Now I'm vetted for DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, Caviar, Grubhub. I work for all the services. And the day the pandemic started, I started working 40 hours a week. He's got an edge over other delivery drivers. Two years ago, he ditched his car and has been zipping all over L.A. on his high-powered electric scooter ever since. Oftentimes, I just tie it up out front like a bike. I bring it into apartment buildings, but not having to park is a huge advantage. I don't know how anybody does food delivery in a car. I would never freaking do that. It may be quicker than a car, but Steve admits it's a dangerous way to get around. Over 15,000 miles, I've had five or six falls, only two of them really bad, and I think by having a long yoga practice by being a weightlifter. It's made me more durable so I can survive these crashes. But the scooters are dangerous. You gotta wear all your safety equipment. Yoga started as a tool to calm his mind and protected his body too. He looks forward to sharing the practice in the park with his fellow Angelinos again very soon. Just don't expect his classes to be totally zen. I'm still always trying to be, you know, kindly aggressive with people because if you're not paying attention in my class, I'll point you out and maybe yell at you in a funny way. Steve's yoga teaching style has always been unique, but he lives by example, going with the flow of life like only a true yogi can. Steve plans to keep up with the food delivery and he shares videos of his daily drop-offs on his YouTube channel at Electric Scooter Academy. Those scooters go up to 50 miles per hour. Oh, yeah, it oh looks God. like fun. Yeah, it sure does. Okay, so, Amy, Governor Newsom has announced the reopening of gyms across the country. G and I have been discussing, you know, it's really going to be a matter of safety. Are people going to feel safety? So what does that mean for, you know, what's happening in Running Canyon? When is that going to open? Because that's such a hot spot. Yes. Well, Runyon Canyon is open with restrictions. There's a guard at the gate that checks people for masks. So, And they've got the one-way um, markers on the ground so that people keep distance. Runyon Canyon Yoga is set to open tomorrow, Saturday morning at 1030. And Steve is releasing some guidelines on the YouTube page, or I'm sorry, on the Facebook page, Runyon Canyon Yoga on Facebook, just to, so that people can safely distance, people should wear masks and they're gonna limit the amount of people that can um, join in that grassy area, but it's quite big, so it should be able to accommodate quite a few people. It's gonna be interesting to see how many people come out. I know people are just itching to get out That's and right. do something. Amy, as always, thank, thank you, Amy. for your brilliant work. Have a nice weekend. Thanks, guys, you too. We'll be right back, everybody. Stay with us.